Hello, uh, this is the fourth video of uh, Ladybug for Dynamo and I just realized for the last two videos my mic was kind of like disconnected and you get some background noise, my apologies for that. Uh, I wanted to redo it but then I started thinking okay if I redo that I can't, like I won't have time to do more videos so I'm doing just this video. I'm sorry about that, hopefully at some point I will replace it and again like these videos are just to get you started and definitely we will have better videos with like more like showing more of the comp nodes uh, when, when we have more implemented okay uh, this is the going to be the first one that we will see some colors so uh, very exciting <laughs> uh, from the visualization point of view so we saw how to import weather file how to draw a sun path and the next thing is like okay we want to run some analysis we need some test points and uh, generating test points there are uh, uh, there, let, let me open it there are plugins that can help you so there is example 02 gen test points and again you can see open in manual execution mode like if you don't do that it can run when you open it I don't suggest that in general, I don't suggest that. Like even in Grasshopper, you look to see like what that file does bef before you open it. So what we're doing, what we're going to do here is, in this example, I have two surfaces, uh, and then uh, I use this generate test point to generate some test points, and then for here we don't run any environmental analysis per se. We just calculate the distance to the center point of uh, of the surface of one of the surfaces and uh, we use the ladybug uh, color surface component or node which is basically uh, on top of the uh, surface preview of dynamo and by the way all these things are custom nodes uh, you can double click on them and then you can see what's happening inside uh, the code, if you want to read the code, is this py, py file, like uh, for, for every node there is a separate Python file that you, that you can read and uh, you can you can just check what's happening under the hood as usual and then you can do the, see the source code if you like. I just close this. So, wh which is built on top of that. I use this and then I show you the legend parameter which, which helps you to kind of like manipulate your your visualization again very similar to uh, what we have in in grasshopper side but uh, there are some stuff that are actually much better now than what it used to be so okay let me get this started and what about this I disconnect analysis surface and I disconnect the values so it's kind of like a more of a learning kind of video, more than like promotional. Okay, this is colorful. Uh, so now I go ahead and run this, so we will see what are we talking about. And again, I'm keeping my fingers crossed to at least once we get the error. Now it worked. Uh, so what's going on here is I draw a rectangle. Uh, draw another rectangle here. And then I create a surface by patch. You can't see the surfaces. Why? Because the preview is off. You can click, and now the preview is on. Uh, and then I use this component. Uh, first of all, I put them together to have a list. And hello. And then here I use this component node. I I'm so used to using the term component. They're the same. When I say component, I mean node in Dynamo. Uh, I use this node which what it does it takes the number of segments and distance uh, from surface to generate these this test points uh, this number of segment is going to change to the grid size uh, eventually but for now just uh, like we have it uh, as number of segments which is easier but it's not like you know like if you have like a surface like this is a, like a, a square and this is a rectangle you can't see that that much of a difference but if you have a surface for example like the if this is like a narrow rectangle then you will get so many on this side really and not not as much as you need on the other side but it's okay so you see now I have the test points the other thing that I did I get the uh, center point of, of this surface and again like that's that's where this code block is so handy you can just type 
s dot uh, point at parameter 0 0.5 0 0.5 and it gives you the evaluate this surface and it gives you the center point of the surface and finally I use this geometry distance to to find the distance of all the test points from this center point you can see all the distances are here so now if you want to color it and you color it normally with dynamo I found it really hard uh, for several reasons one is like these test points are a list of lists and then you have to flatten and then get if you want to find the domain and then when you do that you have to unflatten and that it's just it was so much headache but now what you can do you can use uh, this color surface component which you can use for any analysis including this kind of analysis all you need to have is some values which is the values that they have here for my distance calculation and then the analysis surface so what is the analysis surface both of surfaces are analysis surfaces because I generated the points for both of them and they are here I just connect them here and let me disconnect legend parameter so let's go with the default legend parameter and press run boom so what happened and let's take a moment and enjoy this color yeah it's pretty cool I like the I think the color in the graphic like it looks much nicer here in Dynamo uh, so you can see now the places that are closer to the, to the point are bluish and then when it gets to the like and it's reddish which is further the legend is not there yet and if you know me and if you've watched my videos you know like like no joke like you should have a legend if you have a color but that's coming like I I couldn't figure out and actually I will show you that how to put numbers next next to the test points but that is possible and it will be added at some point then you will have a legend here that the the like the colors makes more sense but now let's go back and say first of all maybe you don't like these colors if if you are again a ladybug user you know that we have uh, custom colors but you can use any color to change the color uh, color set uh, what I will do here is now this is I know this is the number one which is the default I use ladybug color range which generates colors and if you check here it will tell you all the options that we have for different colors and then let's go and use the original ladybug colors so I just connect the legend parameters here and because I have this thing set to zero it will use as you can see but you can't when I move my mouse it's original ladybug color so if I run this you will see now the colors that change to the original colors okay this is cool but now as you can see it's just like the colors are mapped to your to the range of values which we don't know what is the range of values here what are the values are changing between like 0 to what like to 200 11 whatever I don't know so what if I want for example in daylighting analysis many times you want to do that you want to say okay whatever is more than 300 make it all red so I can just get an idea about like what are the areas that are all red getting more than 300 here let's say whatever is more than 5 whatever it is the unit of this document uh, we want to be red so I write I can set the domain for uh, for the legend parameter and here I say minimum means use the minimum value whatever it is and 5 as the maximum value so I just connect this to the domain run and you'll see so now I know like this is the range of 5 whatever the unit is and more than that is red so this is one of the things but one of the other interesting things that we didn't have in ladybug before and it was always useful is what if I want to do it for each segment instead of like having a continuous uh, coloring what if I want to have a segmented coloring this is now possible with the new legend parameter so as you can see here I just have another one here down here so we don't change that one and should I remove this no your your example file is different from mine so what I do here I say I set this one to one which means segmented and then I put the domain as segmented too so it means like whatever is between 0 and 2 make it one color 
2 to 4 is the second color, 4 to 8 is the other color, and whatever is more than 8, like the color after that. And to make it like more interesting, I select some colors from the color set, every other color, so the color differences are more. And if I connect it, and now I'm using the other color set that we have, number 2. And keep in mind, if you're doing segmented coloring, then the number of colors should be one more than the number of segments. Otherwise, there is no way to, to have the colors. There is another one type, which is ordinal. Like you can say, uh, you know, but, but it's not useful here. It's like useful for like studies like comfort analysis. You want to say comfortable, not comfortable. So it's not like a, a numerical value. So I just connect this legend parameter here to legend parameter and now I run it again and keep in mind this is the same exact data we're just changing the visualization and now you can see they're segmented so 0 to 2, 2 to 4 is the same color 4 to whatever I put there I think 8 is the same color does it look like 4 and 8? it does and then uh, more than that is, is red uh, Okay, so this is how you generate some test points and you can use it for uh, some analysis. Uh, I think this is the end of this video. In the next one, I'll show you like how to use the sum path and the test points that you can generate to, um, to generate some sunlight average uh, analysis and visualize them. And by the way, this surface is actually down here. And this is, yep, my mouse has a delay when I'm recording, so, but whatever, you got the concept. Yep, here we go. There are two surfaces. I mean, you can take your geometries from Revit, so you have some more meaningful stuff going on. Okay, thanks for watching, and next video will be about sunlight hours.